What's going on, y'all? I'm here again. Um, this is part three of my um, hashtag over 20 trade lines. Um, I have over 20 trade lines currently reporting on my credit. And we're going a little different. I know the couple of last ones um, we did a secure credit card. Some of them like to do the extra card, the current card, the step up card, um, first latitude card, first digital card. We're going to go with this company called Five Star Bank. And it's here on my Experian credit report. As you can see here, Five Star Bank is the name right here. This is my Experian report. So Five Star Bank just launched a credit up builder account. And basically what they do is it's an installment loan, just like self lender, just like Lokebox. Um, there's other ones like this, such as like Grow Credit, um, Magnum. Um, those are installment loans. Um, mainly self lenders like the main one because that one is more televised. Um, this one right here is not televised as the other ones are commercialized. Um, so basically what this installment loan does is it gets reported on your credit as if you're making payments on a loan. Um, so let's say, for example, with Self Lender, they got different plans. They got where you can pay $25 a month, um, $30 a month. I want to say $40, $45. And I think they got one for $50 or $100. They got like different plans. With this one, with Five Star Bank, this one is $23 to start and $23 a month. <clears throat> but how it works is you get to pick your monthly plans. For example, you can either do 12, 18, or 24 months. Like with me, um, I did the 24 months, as you can see <clears throat> on my credit report. I'm going to just make it go real slow. $23 a month for 12 months, as you can see on my report. So if you can zoom in. So... <clears throat> The reason why I did the 24 months because it's more discipline. And with installment loans from these companies, it's all about discipline. Um, you have to make sure that you make your payments on time and you got to make sure that you set aside whatever amount of money that you're going to put towards these installment accounts. Make sure that you do auto pay because that'll make sure that all your money, <clears throat> that $23 is going to that installment loan. The last thing that you want is to start this and then don't be disciplined and then two or three months down the line, you start defaulting because you don't want those defaults on your credit. So let's go over how does it show on your credit report for those who can't, who couldn't read. I'm also gonna upload pictures on my social media platform so you can see what does it look like when it gets reported to your credit uh, report. So the account name is gonna come up as Five Star Bank. That's the name of the trade line that's gonna get reported to the credit bureaus. It's going to have the account number. It's going to be over 12 digits. It's going to have um, the with the account type, like this is a secured loan or an installment loan. It's going to have the open date. It's going to show the status. Open, never late. That means that you've been paying your payments on time. You never late. Status updated, meaning that the last time they reported to the credit bureau as of <clears throat> when the last time the payment's been made. The balance. So the, my balance is 461 because I'm paying $22 a month to pay off the balance. Now, when you pay off the balance in 18, 12, 18, 24 months, that $23 that you're paying is going into an invincible bank account. And when that money goes into that invincible bank account, you get all of that money back. So let's say you're paying $23 a month times 18 months, you get all of that money back in a, in the form of a check or they can uh, mail it to you or direct deposit it into your bank account. So basically, you basically paying on your own money, but you're just showing on-time payments on your own money. Just like Self Lender, um, just like Lokebox, just like um, the Kickoff has one, just like uh, Magnum has one, and Credit Strong. It's, it's, it's something similar, but this one is more off the grid. What else is going to show? It's going to show your original balance, which is the overall loan amount. It's going to show the monthly payment, like I'm paying $20 a month. It's going to show the term, 24 months, and the responsibility is if it's an individual or a um, authorized user. But these are primary trade lines. These are not authorized users. Primary trade line, all primary trade lines on your credit is going to show an individual. Now, if you are piggybacking off somebody else's credit card or piggybacking off of a mortgage, it's going to say under the individual type, 
or responsibility type is going to show an authorized user. Now, at the bottom of your Experian credit report <clears throat> for your trade line is going to show the address to the company. So just in case you need to write them or if there's anything that you that you need to handle as far as like customer service or if you need to contact them just in case you need to do a dispute. Now, <clears throat> let's go over the application process. It's a three-step process. Um, they don't do a hard inquiry. That's very, very important. They do a soft credit check because they want to verify your identity, make sure that you're over the age of 18, make sure you have a stable address, make sure that you are a United States citizen. Um, you want to pick your plan. That's step number two. You either going to do 12, 18, or 24 months. Um, has a very low interest rate and administration fees is very, very minimum. And then the third step is watch savings and credit score grow. Every time you make an on-time payment, they're going to report it to the credit bureaus as if you making an on-time payment, which is phenomenal. That's what you want. You want a relationship with these primary trade lines. So when it gets reported to your credit, it shows on-time payments. Your credit utilization is going to go down and you're going to get more points. Um, the reason why I recommend this to people is because it's all about diversifying your credit portfolio. 10% of your credit of your FICO score is called credit mix, meaning that you want to diversify your portfolio. You want to have a credit card, a secured credit card, a startup loan, a secured loan, a mortgage, a car note, um, a car loan, If you let, let's say if you're leasing or financing. You want to diversify because 10% of your FICO score is based off of a diversifying your credit report. And this is a different type of account that's getting reported on your credit, such as you know what I mean, like a credit card or a secured loan or a personal loan, et cetera. Um, so what do you need to apply? You need to be a permanent U.S. resident or United States citizen with a physical address in the United States. You gotta be at least 18 years old or older, have a valid social security number. Uh, you must have um, some type of form of identification like an ID, a state ID, I mean, an ID, driver license, or a passport. Now, this trade line is going to take anywhere from 30 to 45 days to get reported on your credit. It's not one of those trade lines that's going to take three to six months or nine months or anything crazy like that. Um, they 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 pretty, pretty fast. They do have an app, uh, the credit up builder. They do have an app uh, where you can make your, where when it comes to you making your payments or adding your ride number and account number to do automatic uh, drafting. They're going to use this thing called Plaid, P-L-A-I-D, where you link your personal bank account to this company to where they can do automatic payments. You want to do um, auto pay when it comes to do dealing with this type of company because they're going to take out that money every month to get reported to the credit bureaus. Um, another thing, too, is you don't have to put up a bunch of money up front. It's the administration free and your first monthly payment, and then you're going to pay into this every month. So you, it's not like a secured credit card where you got to pay 100, 200 on up or 300 or $500 on up. You pay your administration fee, your first month payment, and then you make a payment every month. And then what's going to happen is it's going to start building your credit. Um, in the description that I'm going to put on my social media platform, it's going to have the link, the referral, um, the qualifications to sign up, their website, their app. And um, this this company, like I said, is very off the grid. Um, you don't really hear about this company a lot, but it's legitimate. Um, like I say, this is my Experian credit report, and these people is reporting <clears throat> on there. Um, if you really want to really boost your credit, don't just have this as a trade line. Um, have a secure credit card. Have self lender. Have Covo. Have extra. Um, have different um, different things that's reported on your credit. Because you want that 10% on your FICO, which is 10% on your FICO, which means you pretty much diversify in your portfolio, or your financial portfolio, or your credit portfolio. You want to have different things on your credit reporting. So um, in the link in the description, I'm going to put, of course, my hashtag, hashtag over 20 trade lines. That's two zero, not, not spelled out 20. Um, every day I'm going to post a different primary trade line that's on my credit. I have over 20 on time monthly payment trade lines that I'm that I currently have on my credit. Um like I say it's all about discipline. Um don't go out there and think this stuff is easy. It takes a lot of skill and a lot of 
discipline to do this. If you have any questions, feel free to message me.